Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Paul Catherall. And I have already opened up a photograph that I took up in London um, in Photopia. And this piece of work will definitely be about um, building layers um, and simplifying the image into areas of colour. So I'm going to start from the back and go building by building. So I'm going to start with this building and I've opened a new layer and I'm choosing a kind of dark grey colour and I'm going to use the rectangular select tool and just select and remembering to press shift when I select again so that I can do multiple selections and then I'm going to the paint bucket and filling that area in with the grey that I just chose. Okay, then I'm creating a new layer and I'm just hiding that original bit that I just did because I'm going to do this slightly lighter grey in front and again press shift when you're about to do your next mask so the first one doesn't disappear and that will allow you to mask off more than one rectangle. And I'm going to choose a slightly lighter grey paint bucket and fill that. Okay. And then same again, new layer. Okay. And I'm just making that invisible. And I'm going to do this bit down here now. And so you'll see I'm slowly but surely kind of simplifying the building down into essentially rectangular shapes and obviously you can select more than one area at a time as long as you press shift each time you select and then this one I'm going to go for hmm, bluish hmm, no I'm going to go for greenish I think yeah something like that okay and then I fill those in. Okay. And then I create a new layer. I'm going to work on the buildings at the top there. Okay. Go down this side first. Grab that little bit there. And then grab that tall bit there. Okay, and that's good. Okay, right, same again, choose a different colour. I'm going to go like a lighter grey now. Quick paint bucket and fill those bits in. Then repeating the process, new layer, grab the mask. And I'm going to grab that bit there, do that darker colour, click OK, fill it in. OK, now I just want to get those two lighter bits at the front, so I'm going to make everything else invisible, grab a new layer, same again, rectangular select, and grab those two lighter bits. Press shift, then do the other. Okay, and I'm going to go for a very light grey on these. Paint bucket, fill them in. Okay, and then this building is pretty much done and dusted. So if I bring all of the layers back, you'll see some need to still go behind others. So this is where you sort that out. Drag some bits up and some bits down where they should be and then when I'm happy I'm gonna select all the layers right click merge layers and that puts that whole building onto one layer then okay I can still change the colors just by filling each of the areas but for now I'm good okay just gonna worry about this little building by the side I want it to be the same grey, so I've just used the colour drop 
Um, to grab the same grey, I've selected a new layer. And the same way as I did the last building, I'm just using the rectangular select tool to select parts of the building that I'm going to fill. Now obviously it's up to you what you decide to fill. You don't want to make your image too complicated so you really need to make decisions about what you're going to simplify down um, and in this case I'm taking several buildings and simplifying them down into one shape and you can see I can make a new layer and just make that invisible for the time being while I deal with the building in front of it. Um, and this building's a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool rather than the rectangle so that I can go round angles and I just select the side of it and then choose a darker grey. to fill it with the paint bucket okay and then I choose a new layer and get the polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to do the front of the building now so clicking around the points at the front again simplifying the shape down just really getting the basic shape in and then I want to fill it with colour, but um, this time I like the colour of it, so I'm going to use the eyedropper to get the colour, and then that's the colour I'm going to use to fill it. And then I just want to get that shadow bit in the back there. So I'm going back to the layer that had the dark grey on it, choosing the same grey and filling in that section. Okay. Just makes it a bit more 3D. Right, now I want that green roof. So I'm going to make the other layers invisible. Grab a new layer. Make sure it's at the top. Use my polygonal lasso tool to go around the building. And then, because I like the green, I'm going to use the eyedropper again. Grab that green and fill it in with the paint bucket okay and that's the next building done so bring everything back and then check everything is on the right layers where it should be and once i'm happy select all three layers merge them together okay now i'm going to show you one more building and um, we'll make it this one as it's a little bit more complex. So, new layer, rectangular select, and start selecting the front area. Remember to press shift each time you do a new mask, and then same goes with the polygonal select tool you just press shift select around the area and then that masks off that whole area so we can grab a gray dark gray in this case and fill it in okay all right new layer I'm going to worry about the side bit now. So polygonal select, down, and back up. And I'm going to use the eyedropper to grab that colour because I like it. And then fill it. And then I just want to get that building in front. So I'm going to make these two invisible, select a new layer go the rectangular select tool and just go around that building in front eyedropper because I, again I like the colour of it 
and paint bucket that in. Okay. And if I bring the other buildings back to visibility, I've still got the gherkin behind that I need to do, but this building's done so I can merge the layers together. And then I can use the ellipse select, making sure I'm doing it on a new layer. And just draw that shape. It's going to go behind this building most of it, so we don't need to worry too much about where the rest goes, as long as we're getting that bit that's showing. And then we'll go for kind of dark grey. Fill it in. And of course bring that layer behind the other so that it now goes behind that building. Okay, right. Now, just before I finish the first part of this tutorial, I'm going to do these bushes. So I'll just get rid of the buildings, make a new layer. And I'm going to use the um, ellipse select and just make kind of rough bubbly shapes where I want my bushes to be. Okay. One last little one down there. And then I'm going to grab kind of dark green. And paint bucket fill. Okay. Right, now I want to put some shadows into those. So I'm going to make those invisible for the time being. And grab a new layer. I'm going to do the same again with the ellipse tool. And just fill in anywhere where I want to be. Darker shade of green. Okay. And when I'm happy, get my darker green paint bucket, fill it in. Then I'm going to merge those two layers together. And that's my bush done. Okay, uh, if I zoom out and I bring all my buildings back and I make sure that my bush is at the top like that. If I get rid of the rest, you can see what I've done so far. Okay, this is the end of part one of this tutorial. When I come back, I will have finished off the rest of the buildings and we will carry on from there.